Hi, this is Shane Skinner with Devadime recording another WordPress video tutorial. Hi, in this short video, I'm going to show you how to create or edit the navigation menu on a WordPress website. So the most common usage is the, the main navigation bar, uh, usually at the top of a site, or sometimes you'll see it on the left sidebar. WordPress makes it really easy to create and edit the navigation menu. So if you log into your dashboard, if you hover over Appearance, you'll click on Menus. And if you're creating a new menu, uh, you're going to click on the Create a New Menu option here. And then you would give the menu a name. And you want to make it something easy for you to remember, you know, primary navigation or footer navigation or you know, some sidebar. Basically, you know, wherever you're going to uh, put that menu on your site to make it easy for you to remember. If you already have an existing menu, you would instead go to this drop down and select the menu that you want to edit, and then you'll click on select. So, as you can see, we have an existing uh, navigation menu here. You can add uh, any page that's been created on your site, you can add any post, uh, you can add custom links, you can add categories, and if you have additional plugins on your site, some plugins offer uh, a link. For example, we have quizzes. Uh, with the Learn Dash uh, LMS plugin on our site. So we could click the drop down here if I wanted to include the quiz in the main navigation menu. And all you do is you you click the checkbox next to the name of the link that you want to include in the navigation menu and click on Add to Menu. And that automatically puts it at the end of the list of your navigation menu. To change the order, you simply drag and drop. So if you want to you know, move that up, somewhere else on the list is fine. If you want to create a submenu, you would just click on it and drag it over to the right. You see how it's indented? Similar to how these services here are indented. And what that does is if you go to the site, you see services and then there's a submenu of all those pages under the services. You can even add in a custom link. So if you want to create a link to um, you know, somewhere that's not on your own site, you can even add in the URL there. So you would just type in the URL and you would you know, add in the text for what the link is. And again, click Add to Menu. And one thing I recommend is if you click on this little drop down here, uh, you can have more options for the menu. It's not standard usually. So you might have to go to the top of your screen and click on Screen Options. I'd like to include the link target. And the title attribute is good for um, SEO and for accessibility. And you can even add in if you want to include, uh, again, you know, what type of, of links you want to offer. Uh, if you want to offer courses or lessons, if you have the Learn Dash plugin, um, individual quizzes, all the different types of things based on the other uh, plugins you've installed, you might be able to add in additional options there. And we'll go ahead and hide the options. So if you're going to add a URL to an external site, for example, you know, to your Facebook page, after you enable the option, you would just want to click on open the link in a new tab. You don't typically do that if you're linking somewhere within your own site. Um, but if you're going to link to maybe like a, a PDF or a download on your site, or if you're linking to an external source, then it's, it's good to have that open in a new uh, tab. So that way the user doesn't have to leave your site. And for the attribute, uh, I would just, you know, join us on Facebook. And then you're going to make sure you save your menu. And then if you update the site, some themes actually have uh, the social media icons built in. So they, some themes actually recognize if you have a Facebook link or Twitter or Instagram, and they'll actually put the logo there. Uh, mine does not, but there are plugins you can add in if you wanted to, to add an icon or an image to a navigation menu. But you'll see we have the SEO quiz here, and we have the Facebook link there. If I click on Facebook, it opens it in a new tab, so that way users don't have to leave my site. They could stay on the site. Uh, but still check out my Facebook page. All right, I hope that helps show you how to create a navigation menu using WordPress. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. 
You can find more videos and articles on our website, davidime.com. And feel free to join us on social media. You can find at Davidime on Facebook and Twitter. Also, if you did find this video helpful, I would love for you to let me know on Twitter. Just tweet me with the hashtag DavidimeVideoTutorial.